YouTube, what is up? Bearded Yakin here, and we got another video. Oh, it's supposed to be an intro, but there's not. So what I have, I got my welder here, which it wasn't really mine, but I had it. And a uh, buddy of mine, I needed it, so I've had it since I needed it. Well, when I got the new compressor, I was like, oh man, I got my little pancake one if you want it. So, I gave it to him, and he was like, you know what, man? Dude, just keep the welder, give me the pancake. So, I was like, fucking deal. Well, we got to repair this. I already fixed one problem with it off camera last night. See, where this minimum and maximum button is here. I was wondering why when I was using it, it was fine on maximum. But then when I put it on minimum and started welding, it kept blowing the breaker. Kept throwing the breaker. So then, uh, I guess last night, I was like, fuck it. Let, let me see if I can find a brand name on this thing on the inside. Because I don't know if it's Harbor Free or if it's something else. Or something like that, you know what I mean? So I took the panel off, and lo and behold, a wire was disconnected on the inside from the minimum terminal. So I got that hooked back up. I didn't check it, test it out, because this is the other problem. That wire is all chewed up, and this video, we're going to fix it. But before we get started and go that far, please subscribe and hit the bell for future videos, being the fact that this is the first video of 2019, and this here is just showing you guys what we got coming in the future. So, you know, I don't have no welding videos on here. I'm not that good of welder. But I can, I can put some shit together. But anyway, like I said, like the video. Subscribe, hit the bell, and let's get started. Watch this uh, seven second intro, and we'll be back. All right, guys, we're back. We're back. All right. There is a spoiler alert during this video, and you guys will see me using it because I didn't do the tool haul yet. But it is a spoiler alert that you guys are just one little thing you guys are going to see that I didn't do a tool haul about yet. I don't know, for some reason, you know, I had to work Saturday, you know what I mean. You guys know what's up. Go birds! But anyway, this is what we're dealing with here. This shit is fucking chewed up. Like, look at that shit. Look at it. Excuse the cuss words, by the way. That's just how we do things here. So... So I got my, uh, well, I don't have a soldering iron, but I do have a wood carving kit that I use for soldering. So anyway, let's get started. Yeah, I need this hammer because I had to modify this in order to be able to connect it to this and get a better bite down on it. This here is actually for battery cables. You know what I mean? So what we're going to do here, we got to take this screw off. And this is what I'm talking about right here. This wrench here is part of the spoiler. Detecting 5 16 So you want to hook that up inside there. You got to get that snap on screwdriver here. We got to shit. 
That puppy was on there. We gotta undo this. All right, it's coming loose. To get this thing out of the way, and I will be changing this this clamp in the future after I get this welder running top notch. You know what I mean? So yeah, we got to pop that out of there. There it is, undone. I'm gonna clean this up, especially on the inside, so I get a good connection. I gotta clean all this up because it's all burnt up. You know what I mean? So what we're gonna do here, put these nuts and screws over here, snip this end off, get this end out of the way. We don't need that piece anyway. We don't need that piece anyway. So now, we're gonna snip this Big, big bad chunk off here and uh, I got here bundled up here we're gonna snip that off like so yeah it even came off in a big old clump put that in a little bucket over here I got some copper now what I'm gonna do see this this video is gonna be long as shit I'm going to pause this and I'm going to strip this rubber off here and then show you guys what we got. Alright, so this is what we got now. Well, we're back. This is what we got going right now. It's all I need. This end's going to go on in here like this. Actually, you know what? I think I might have got too big of a connector. But you know what? We'll make it work. It's, it's going to be more heavy duty. You know what I mean? Hopefully it works right the way I'm... I'm planning. See, I shouldn't really have that. Yeah, I think I might trim it up a little more. So that way I get more of the rubber inside of this too. So, what we're going to do, it's going to be a bit, be a few minutes. So, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to get this thing straightened out and connect it on to here. And then, and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. You know what I mean? We'll be right back in a second. All right, so we're back. So, so I turned the I turned the copper down a little bit. Focus. So that way, when we slide this on, I'm gonna try and tuck it up as tight as I can. So that way, some of the rubber is inside of this. And then what I'll do, I'll wrap this piece up with fucking electrical tape, a ton up. Anyway, while we're here. This is the kind of uh, solder I use. I use this shit all the time when I do shit like this. So go to your uh, closest Napa or any store that sells uh, solder, solder wire, flux core, right here. This shit is good. But anyway, we'll be back. I'm going to get this straightened out because I need two hands. And I don't want to make this video like like 15 minutes long because then nobody will watch it. Be back in a second. Alright, so what we got here, we got it soldered in. I'm going to try and crimp it. You know what I mean? We got it on there. These, these uh... Yeah, it's going to work good, too. Get this side down. You know what I mean? Get it folded over. Like so. And we'll come back. Fold this end over. You know what I mean? And then this should do it, and then we'll smash it down with a hammer. Ah, yeah. It's going, it's doing good, it's doing good. I ain't get as much, uh, rubber under that, under there that I wanted to. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, so. We'll be back in a second, that's what it looks like. 
So we'll, we'll be back in a second. I'll get this straightened out, smashed in better, get this, get this sealed up a lot better, and uh, we'll be back. All right, guys, we are finally back after, I'd say, four hours. Eagles game was on. Playoff win. But anyway, we're back. Got shit all over the fucking place. Well, this is where I'm at. I did this just before I stopped to play the, uh, to go watch the game. And, uh, this is where we're at. Now, I got a lot of solder down in here to fill in this gap that was inside here. And then, uh, it's all closed up. It's solid. So now, if I can find the little clamp, we're going to connect her back on. Right here, it ain't gonna fit on the inside, so we got we're gonna mount it on the outside, like like that. And uh, we're gonna see if this works. We're gonna crank it down here. Uh, that ain't gonna work with the screw on the side. Yeah, it is. Hold on a second. Let me pause it. All right, never mind. We're going to make this hole bigger, so we're going to put a bigger nut on it, bigger bigger fastener, you know what I mean? So we're going to get right into this. We're going to make this hole a little bit bigger. Just like that, I'm going to follow this up a little bit, so that way we can get a better connection between the, uh, you know what I mean? We're going to follow this up, so let me pause this real quick and do that, and then uh, we'll get the fastening. Alright guys, then we're back. What I'm using here, I got a half inch stubby, and a spoiler alert again, not the stubbies, but the tectin wrenches. You guys are going to see that uh, video here. I had to rearrange my whole wrench drawer, take away my screwdriver drawer, just so I can uh, make some room. I moved my, uh, moved my screwdrivers into a different drawer that I had set up for something totally different so <clears throat> this here is going to be adding a bigger fastener to this going to make this a little more beefier you know what I mean well it's fixed now yeah it's uh it's going to be on the outside but it's all good. Now what we're going to do, we're going to wrap it with some electrical tape. And then after this video, go in and celebrate another Eagles win. And get ready for next week's game against New down in New Orleans against Drew Brees again. <clears throat> so... We're going to fire this, this uh, welder up in a different video. Just so uh, after I do some tests to make sure everything is running smooth and all that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, so it's fixed. What I'm going to do later, this is only temporary until, until I order a new, uh, you know, ground plant. So, hey, Bearded Yak in here, that's the end of the video, and just a pile of fucking tools here, so we're getting out of here, celebrating Eagles win, like, comment, subscribe.